Welcome to this course on cosmology, the study of the entire universe. I'm Paul Francis, and this is Brian Schmidt, and we are both astronomers here at the Australian National University. So this course is all about cosmology, the universe on its largest scales. Now, this is the work that Paul and I actually do for a living. Paul is a world expert on what we call quasars, where we think we have billion times larger than our sun, black holes in the center of galaxies. They shine incredibly brightly, and there's still a lot of mysteries surrounding how they got that big so quickly and how they shine so brightly. But Paul also does other things. He studies things he likes to call blobs, which we think are the proto-galaxies that eventually turned in to the things we see around us in the universe today. Uh, Brian also likes violent stuff. In his case, it's supernovae, exploding stars of a wide variety. Uh, and he's used them not only for their own intrinsic interest, but to, to map out how the universe expanded at time, discovered that the universe started off expanding slowly and has been getting faster and faster, which led to the discovery of dark energy, which we don't know what it is, but it's the thing that made the universe go faster, and also uh, what led to him getting a Nobel Prize and therefore losing all his spare time. And you're going to find out all about this stuff in the following uh, lectures. And let's show you how this course is going to work. You will spend most of your time in the course in the course tab up here. The course is divided into sections. There are nine sections, plus a bonus section we'll come to later. In each section, the first thing you should do is view the lesson. Each lesson consists of a group of short videos interspersed with questions. For each video, you can play it here, or you can go to watch it on YouTube. You can change the speed at which it plays, and you can turn captions on and off or go full screen. You can also download transcript in different formats here. And if you have any questions about the video, there is a discussion pane just underneath. And then there'll be a question to test what you've just learned. Once you've completed the lesson, the next uh, crucial thing is the homework assignment. This will test the more mathematical details of the course, the whole string of questions. To get preparation for doing the homework, there are worked examples and practice questions. These are not worth marks, they're just a chance to prepare for the homework. In addition, there are reference notes in each section, which give you a summary of the key facts from the videos, so that if you need to look something up, you don't have to go and watch all the videos again. And also in each section, there is a mystery. The mystery is a crucial part of the course. It is intended to show you what it's like to be an actual researcher, where you can't just look up the answer in the back of the book. We've made up a universe which is very different from our own, with a planet Zing, which has just one star in the sky, plus the great red fuzzball, or the bloodstain. Your job is to find out what the cosmology of this universe is all like. So each week you should read the clues and propose observations to try and solve the mystery, and you'll be tested upon that in the exam. If you have questions about anything, below every video and every question there is a discussion section, or you can go to the discussion tab here and keep track of all the different uh, questions that people have been asking. For more information, go back to the course info page. There is a course guide, syllabus, combined reference notes and combined lesson transcripts here. This edX course on cosmology is the fourth in the ANUX series, which represents the first year astrophysics courses here at the Australian National University. Now, you don't have to have taken the other three courses to take this one, although you might find them interesting, and we will occasionally refer back to them. But if there's any crucial information you need, we'll repeat it here or we'll send you a cross link. Now, to get the most out of this course, you're going to need a fairly good level of high school maths and physics, in particular algebra and understanding Newton's laws. Uh, we have a little bit of calculus, but if you skip that, it won't hurt you too much. But you will need that level of maths and physics to understand it. If you don't have the maths and physics, you'll still be able to understand most of the videos, but you'll find the homework quite hard. So that's enough introduction. Now turn to the courseware tab and start the course.